Baruch Hashem, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Just a question. Is God punishing me? Maybe you think you're under a curse. Maybe you think it's some bad karma from the 70s. Whatever it is, no. Not yet. God is not punishing you. In Yeshua 53, 5 through 6, but he, the Mashiach, was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our sins. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. And Adonai has laid on him the, the iniquity of us all. There was one coming who would take this punishment. You can't take the punishment God could give you. The Lord is very emphatic. He, he, the psalmist says, he, he, if he rewarded us according to our iniquities, who would stand? How could we stand if we got awarded and had all that punishment laid on us from our sins? No, it's better to let another take it. In the Victorian era, there was something called the workhouse and before, but it was at its zenith in the Victorian era. Uh, you remember the name Charlie Chaplin. He was raised in a workhouse. This is where very poor people went, and it was considered the really just filth of the earth that wound up there. And if you were in a workhouse, you deserved it, according to all those good white people. You deserve to be in that workhouse. Even little children who were being born, they deserve to be there. Why, you shlemiels, you don't work, you don't provide, you don't do anything? Well, this is your lot. Sounds a little bit like Hinduism to me, but maybe next time around you'll do better. Friends, that's not the case. Who, as a human being, has the right to punish and judge another human being because they can't get it together? If a person's lazy, okay, their sin will be found out. But millions of people? No. No. In 1971, the Pakistanis moved in to Bangladesh and they, they began to fire on the Bangladeshis and they murdered two million people, men, women, and children, in a matter of a week. Murdered them, throwing their bodies into pits. They were punishing them. They wanted to punish them. That's so tragic. Punish them for what? Having a border? Having a faith? Having something around the lines that had been drawn for the new Pakistan, the new India, the new Bangladesh? Tragic. And there are many other genocides in history. Finally, there was a famous restaurant that burned down not many years ago and a wonderful kosher restaurant, but some Jewish people in the community decided, well, this is God's punishment on you. I wonder if the Nazis said, this is God's punishment on you. Oh, oh. You see, what goes around comes around. And that sin that you hand out, it can be handed right back to you unless you hand it to the one who was able to bear these sins and carry your iniquities far away, as far as the, as far as the east is from the west, and that is none other than Yeshua HaMashiach. In Proverbs 3.12, this is a real uh, important thing. Whenever you are enduring something that seems like punishment, it may not be. For whom the Lord, Adonai, loves, he corrects, he chastens, even as a father chastens the son in whom he delights. The Lord may be allowing a certain amount of cleansing to go on with you right now, but he does not not love you. He loves you. That's why he's purifying you through this testing. And finally, in the Brit Hadashah, there's a wonderful, wonderful promise. And this is 2 Corinthians 5.21. Baruch Hashem.
For he hath made him, Adonai hath made Moshiach, to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of Adonai in him. Now, friends, do you want to punish yourself? Do you want to pretend someone's punishing you? Or do you want to hand it to Yeshua, who carried it all for you all the way?